<laughs> All right. Today we have um, some Monster High older dolls that I have. Um, if you guys are following my What's in the Box, you guys all know that um, I pulled out a couple of doll boxes and I found a couple of my Monster High dolls, um, some of my older ones in the box as well as some of my uh, Mycene Barbie ones. So today I figured we would open up some of my older dolls. In lieu of opening up the newer G3 dolls, I've been hearing a lot of things that there are a lot of factory errors and stuff like that. So it's kind of sad to hear. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I want to get any now. Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> if I want to get any now or if I want to um, wait a little bit. Because to be honest, if I was going to order Deuce off of Amazon, I would kind of want the, the screen print that he's supposed to have on his phone. You know what I mean? It's like little stuff like that. That um, makes me wonder if I should hold off a little bit. But I did say I was going to open some of my older stuff and check out some of my older things here. So here she is out of the box, plastic at least. Um, oh, she's so pretty. And let's see. Now, <clears throat> I did accidentally tear a little bit more off her box than I really wanted to, um, like up here <laughs> and stuff. But, um, you know, it's, she was kind of squished from how people stack uh, stashed her anyways um, so I'm glad that her face isn't as smushed as it was before um, so that's always nice it's nice it looks like her face um, came out a little bit better because before she was really smashed in and it made me sad um, how other people treat your things um, so um, yeah, it was kind of sad to see that. Okay, wow, this thing, okay, this is like taped in between this packaging and the other packaging. So I was hoping to just be able to get her out, but it looks like I might have to, uh, I, I kind of didn't want to, but destroy the box a little bit more. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna try to get her out a little bit, okay? Okay, just a quick little mini update. I lied. <laughs> I lied. There's these tabs here that were holding the background down. So, ah, I didn't have to destroy it as much as I thought I was going to. So, yay! I'm blind, so forgive me. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Hold on! So, look at this. Wow, okay. This looks like it's going to be a bit to get through, but I wanted to look at this beautiful artwork and background of this cute, cute little outfit, this little design. These dolls are so pretty in their, in their boxes. Some of these are just like, ugh, hurts my heart to open them up, you know what I mean? But I only have, let me see, nope scratch that. This is the first Scare Screams I've got in the box. I said scratch that because I think um, she came in that five pack of the uh, student council and I have that open. So um, that would be 
that opens scary screams. I did try to get one of each of the dolls. Um, and I wanted one in the box. Wanted one open to play with. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. But they're all so pretty. And uh, I love all the little accessories and stuff. And I want to play with them a little mo bit more. So I think I'm going to open a few of my box boxes. Um, because most of the dolls I have are just the one of. There are a few that I have, you know, two or more. But most of my dolls I only look at because it's only the one in the box. And here comes Sabrina. She thinks I have plastic or something, I guess. Or she just wants to make a little debut in my video. She hasn't been in in, in, a, in a while and she's going to sit here on my stuff. Well, while she sits here on my stuff, I was looking at these. I love heart fashions and I know I have like three or four of, more of them. And I thought it would be cute. Oh, she got up. I thought it would be cute to make a little backdrop of a shopping area that kind of is inspired by the um, Monster High stuff here. I mean, these are all just, I think I was looking at, at some of the other ones and it looks like they're a background that matches the doll color scheme and stuff. So I think we should do a really cute little backdrop and uh, make a cute little shopping area for them. I think I want to do a backdrop instead of a room. That way I can do other backdrops for other items like I wanted to do um, makeup and um, I know I have the my scene Barbies that are the mall maniacs or something and they all have a different store as their thing and that would be cute to like be able to put them together and and have the, the dolls be able to go shopping at different stores. So I think that's what I want to do. And uh, yeah, check some of these guys out. So <clears throat> let me unbox her. I'm gonna cut her all the little stuff out. But I just wanted to look at her one more time and her pretty, pretty background. But uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to save all my boxes. I know the ones that I've op previously opened, I ended up not saving them, I don't think. I might find them, I'm not sure, but I'm sad. <laughs> I'm really sad. Well, those boxes are really cute. Alright, so that took a little bit to try to get out so I didn't totally destroy the packaging. <laughs> uh, but the packaging was labeled 2013. So that's what I'm going to assume um, when this lovely lady came out. And I was just kind of looking at the furniture. Digging the, the thing. Um, looking at the backdrop. Thinking maybe that would be kind of cool. So on top of there we had shoes. So I'll get these out of the plastic. But check out these shoes. High heel wedges. They're green. There's like a little line here and a little line here. It's got a pair. No, it's not too bad. They're cute, just basic shoes. Basic green shoes to kind of go with the, her outfits here. And then we have these ones here that are a high heel. Silver. We see a little bit of stitching here. That's about it. It's a wedge on the front here. High heels. A little bit of um, something here. Like I said, there's some stitching here. So it's a little bit of a design, not completely plain. Um, but yeah, just some silver basic shoes to go with her outfit. She came with this cool little green purse. It's got the skullette. You can see there's some bumps here. This is nice. They um, painted the buckles in this middle piece here. They even painted the little pink bow on there. Isn't that cute? 
other than that it's just like this green um, color a darker green color just cute she's cute um, she also came with a brush and a stand so she came with a black stand and a cute little black brush let me see not sure if anybody for the people who aren't too familiar with the older versions um, the handle says monster high on it and it's a cute skelet you can see the details and stuff and it's a big brush it's cute it's nice she came with two outfits she came with this one um, there's a uh, black and gray and it's a little skelet pattern here on the side We've got this pretty pink and then this side it's pink and green which kind of mi uh, matches the theme of her outfits here pink and green and black that's the front and the back is just a solid pink I think it would have been prettier if it was a complete half and half um, you know a little more pattern than just a plain black background and she has these tights and it looks like they're footy tights so they're tights with the feet and it looks like I'm guessing it looks like it's supposed to be a bunch of holes in there and then I see little bits of skelet around the tights so that's cute yeah so that's cute came with this belt it's got a little skelet um, buckle a little hole in the middle there we go yeah really cool so yeah it's a cool little belt that came with this guy this belt was wrapped around the packaging so I had to undo the belt to get <laughs> to get it out <laughs> So that's pretty cool and then on here it's this cute dress look at that it's got like a metallic blue sheen with the green on the back it's a really tight form-fitting dress you can tell and it's got a little uh, velcro in the back here for her neck and isn't that cool it came with a necklace it came with this cute little chain white chain necklace that's really pretty and then I was looking at this cool little dress form they have. Nice little stylized dress form. Um, but yeah, it's got a cool little skelet on the top. So, yeah. And like I said, I have a few of these I Heart Fashion ones. Um, so I might end up just trying to keep these backgrounds. Or at least, you know, this here. That'd be really cute you know to just stand up in in the little shop there I think we'll have to figure out how to use this so I don't destroy it too much though I'll have to cut off the tabs and whatnot so we got to think about that for a minute um, but yeah it came with a black stand and on the stand it says monster high there's a little skelet and there's some patterning like a spider web and uh, I see some chains and some stars and circles and things like that. So that's cool. It's cute. Um, I didn't have her clipped in there too much because the jacket puts in a lot of bulk and that is a really small <laughs> hole there. Um, but she's really cute look at her so they came this one here her hair is all black looks like she has a solid black hair I'm looking at her and she's looking like oh yeah she's got glue seepage so that's what this yellowing that I I see around her is most likely from um, we're gonna fix that wasn't expecting to have to uh, do all of the redo all the dolls hairs but I think I will have to end up having to do that the glue seepage you know um, but we're checking out her cool little glasses she's got the big round circle glasses and the jacket and the boots is giving me a very mod 60s vibe 
check out the that. That's really cool. The little zippers on the inside. And then the stitching here. And then they molded on a little bit of wrinkles on our foot. You know, it's got the silver heel in the back. And on the bottoms, ooh, skeletts. Painted silver and skeletts on the bottom. But those are cute. Cute, cute, cute. Now this had a little stitching that held it closed. The only reason why, how it, reason why it was closed so nicely. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna just keep popping out and stuff, which kind of sucks. Um, she's got this cute bracelet here that's black and pink. <laughs> and these ones over here are so totes adorbs. Look at that. White and green and they're square bracelets. Square bracelets. That's really cool. I like that. Check that out. Very mod. Um, you can see here, she's got this cute oh, little necklace. Man, these guys are so fragile. They're jewelry. Oh, no piercing in the ears. Um, yeah, I think once I take this rubber band off, that's going to be something that might not be easily um, kept on. As you can see, it doesn't even fully go around her neck. So that might just fall off once I uh, take those off. But we'll see. Um, I've been putting a lot of their stuff in little Ziplockies to keep them together. So, you know, I'll be able to do, to do that. Um, keep my, my girls together. Okay, and it's separate. So she has cute little short black pants. Or plant pants. Shorts. She's got cute little short shorts. I didn't want to say short shorts but she has cute little shorts black solid and it looks like I'm gonna have to pop off her her hands and stuff um, but it looks like she's got a little short sleeve jacket jacket oh my gosh <sighs> think I can do this <laughs> I swear I can do this <laughs> shirt uh, short sleeve shirt <laughs> Beautiful pink, uh, yellow, black, skeletts all over the pattern. It's nice. It goes all the way in the back, too. And then check out her jacket. It's really form-fitted. Um, you can see she's got a dart in the back. And you can see how it's um, fitted to uh, fit her waist and fit her uh, really tight around. Um, but it also has um, the belt loops. Isn't that cool? Oh man, once I unstitch that thing, this thing can come off too. Wow. <laughs> so fragile. Um, but yeah, check that out. Really form-fitted jacket. It's got a really... And it's uh, a patent leather. It's really nice. It's also hard to move. Um, move her around and stuff in it. But uh, she's so pretty. I love her hair. I love the little side swoosh and her glasses. And her glasses, I think, are just, yeah, are put on with this rubber band. Should have took that off. Oh, it's stuck in the middle. No. I'm telling you, I just love securing everything down. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see her with her glasses on. Cute. Fierce. Look at her. She does need a little love hair. Love loving in her hair. Um pretty, pretty. Pink lips and the silver. Her silver. Eyeshadow is really pretty. She's got a little pointed ear, you know. I just thinking about that. I was just looking at her ears, um, thinking about what she looks like. Scare Scream has pointed ears. Check that out. But yeah, I was just looking at this glue seepage, 
and you can really feel it in the back here it's really in the back of the head not really at the ends um, so that's why I wasn't expecting it um, until I did her uh, took her out of the package and saw all this yellowing see now I don't know if you can tell too much but I did believe I see some yellowing around here too so it must have just been oh yeah Let's see yeah. this right here you can't tell I'm just touching that you really can't tell but yeah glue seepage so what we're gonna have to do is give her a treatment for her hair I'm gonna have to shampoo and con and wash out her hair um, I did do a little tutorial video and um, I think I'm going to go with um, you know I might try the OxyClean because she has the yellowing of her skin too so there's two things I might do <clears throat> I'm gonna shampoo her hair and we'll see if any of that yellowing comes off if the yellowing doesn't come off we're gonna have to put her in OxyClean um, as her treatment and the oxyclean should get out of get out the glue seepage as well so I wouldn't have to do the baking soda coconut oil blend um, but I do tend to like doing that one um, a lot because it just leaves their hair smooth and silky um, it does flatten their hair out a little bit and see how beautiful um, and poofy voluminous voluminous her hair is um, so I do kind of want to keep that going as well so yeah I wasn't expecting to have to fix her up some but yeah it looks like this poor little girl needs a fixing a fixing up uppins so we're just gonna have to do that Ooh. and these are so tight See, it's so hard to move her in this jacket. I wanted to stand her up, but uh, <laughs> she's giving me trouble. This jacket, I'm telling you. It's beautiful, but um, I'm not sure how I'm going to see. Oh, see another lo loose joint. You know what they did, I think, was instead of taking her hand off and putting her in the jacket um, I think they took the whole joint and just put it in there so well I'm glad that it her joints weren't broken but it looked like um, when they put the jacket on they just took the whole forearm um, with it and shoved them back in there but didn't really click them in because um, that's what happened to this one when I took her out I was trying to pull the packaging out just so I can save the back background um, and her, her her whole arm here just came right out I thought oh my god I broke her um, but no this one was just as loose that's probably where most of my problems yeah see most of my problems was because her hands weren't um, her hands weren't snapped in properly so I couldn't move her arm as well from down here um, so yeah other than that I think it's just the glue seepage issue going on with her top and look at me I'm just sitting here blathering on about her <laughs> um, but yeah let's get to the makeover and so we could put on her cute little outfits also, I want to make that backdrop too, so we're going to make that backdrop, we're going to clean her up, and we're going to make a cute little shopping backdrop for her, and um, change her little outfits, it'll be so cute. I'm so excited to, to be able to play with her, sorry guys, that's probably why I'm just going on and on, but uh, yeah, let's all go off to do the next thing. Damn. girl look at that hair I mean all I did was shampoo and condition it um, and uh, I did the 
coconut oil baking soda mixture in here um, to get the grease uh, out. Now I didn't do much about the staining, uh, but I figured it's you can't really tell on the front too much, um, and it's in the back of the head. And I figured I did not um, heat set it either because I didn't want to get rid of this beautiful fluffy uh, stuff that this hair was doing. I mean, look at this. Look at that. It's crazy. Crazy. And then you can kind of get it to style into that cute little bobby thing. I mean, look at how beautiful that hair is. So I didn't want to uh, do a boil wash or anything. Uh, so there's probably glue still stuck in her head. It's still really hard. Uh, I may have to later do another treatment, but look at her hair. It's so curly. It's so bouncy. It's so full. So yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to ruin it with a, a hot water wa uh, wash. I feel like it would flatten her hair. And look at that. I mean, look at her hair. It's fucking crazy. Go, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Work. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just in love with that hair. It's so crazy. Check that out. Just so much hair. It's insane. And the way it just bounces and everything. This, I think this is the piece that they had, um, tied to the side here which I mean look at how bouncy her hair is all I did was turn it into a curl here like that and kind of comb a little in the back here you can see kind of tame it down a little open the crease and just bounce out the little hairs I mean look at that beautiful this is how it dried I did nothing else to it um, so yeah Beautiful, so beautiful, wow. The hair, that hair, girl, that hair, I'm telling you, beautiful, nice. Now, I'm showing you these shoes here. The green shoes will fit her feet, but I was having trouble putting it on the outfit with the stockings. So, the, these shoes are so tight that the stocking fabric is too much. So, um, anyone who has these shoes, because um, I know they've they've done different multiple molds and colors of those but those shoes are hard to put on when you have stockings so just a warning you know prepare your outfits accordingly <laughs> but yeah that's how she turned out I think she's beautiful I love her hair I didn't realize how beautiful her hair was going to come out um, a little bit of staining like I said um, but I can't notice it too bad and uh, I may have to do another video as I'm opening it opening up some of these older dolls um, with the staining and everything so we're gonna experiment uh, as I go through and then I'll make a video about how to um, what's the what I use to actually get all the staining off and all that other stuff so I'll do another how-to video um, but for now, this is her. Isn't she pretty? So pretty!
Okay, and here she is. I made a quick little backdrop. As you can see, it's just the foam board. Um, to the sides here, foam board just connected here. <laughs> My stuff's all falling over. Um, and then what I was gonna show was, I decided to do the backdrop um, like this. Um, I really like this um, print and I only had a few pieces so I thought oh, I'll do a cute little room. Um, I had a couple of these left over from my other room and I paired it with this beautiful white um, wood floorboard and with this one it's like uh, that metallic uh, paper and then I just uh, glued it on to this thing this cardboard black cardboard now I put a little bit of poster putty to put that up and then I just wanted to show I cut this guy out I cut the tabs off for right now and then what I did was I added a little piece of foam board on the bottom so that I can use it and it looks really pretty in the background. Um, I know it's not a, a full, you know, um, thing that you can put the dress on, but you can hang the outfits on there. And uh, I think this method will be really nice and it'll look really cute once we set up um, the other ones. I'm pretty sure I have like three or four I heart um, fashion dolls. Uh, and then here is my stand. I decided to make the coffin shape since it is a Monster High inspired um, broom here. And then what I did was I did the two fold. And I did that uh, to kind of represent this guy here that the uh, shoes were on. I know it doesn't have a spider web or broken glass like in the pictures here um, but I wanted to something kind of cute kind of cohesive because I think I might do a boutique because I love this idea of uh, setting up something creepy cool gothic thing um, for the dolls uh, and then you know I have her uh, yeah and then these look really nice because you can stand them up there. This one you can kind of stand, but as soon as you move it a little bit, it uh, it falls. Now you can get poster putty and um, help keep it down. Uh, but yeah, I was just showing. So I made this cute little design. I thought it's nice. It's a cute little piece. Um, made out of, out of dowels and just painted it black. I decided to do marble. I kind of like the way it looks with the background. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's it's not too jumbled. It's not too much color everywhere. Um, it's a good neutral for like some of the other dolls I have. Um, and it's a cute little display. You know, you put their little accessories on. I'm debating whether I want to put shelves up here um, or I might just do another shelving unit or something. Uh, for the other dolls and whatnot, um, but for right now, this is what I got. I think it's really cute, and uh, I'm gonna do more fixtures and stuff, and probably work on a room. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a quick little video of doing the room um, and showing you how I made all the background stuff here. So. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy this video, this little box opening and background. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, um, comment down below what you think of it. Um, maybe if you have any uh, ideas that you might want to see me um, do a craft video on. Um, yeah, anything helps my little channel and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Bye.